Hi, Luke Raymond from Inaxis Security Systems here. Today's topic is something that some of our customers have been asking for, is when to choose Wiegand format versus RS-45 or OSDP. Um, this is when you're talking about access control, and it's quite important because it's one of the bases of security is, is being secure. So choosing the right format or language for your access control system to speak is really, really important. So first I'd like to talk about Wiegand. You see, whether to choose one or the other, my personal opinion is you should always encrypt your data. Now, what is the difference between Wiegand and OSDP or RS-45 is simple. RS-45 or OSDP is encrypted, Wiegand is not. Now let me explain. On the back of our readers, you have multiple different cables. When we're doing Wiegand technology, Wiegand technology is the language that is spoken between the reader and the controller. Now, Wiegand is simply ones and zeros, but the ones and zeros we're talking about are voltage. So I've actually kind of shown it here. What I mean by ones and zeros are, when you're looking at Wiegand, each bit, whether you have 26-bit, 32-bit, or 105-bit, by monitoring the voltage, zero, one, zero, one, you can actually see exactly which ones and zeros are in which position, and I can actually tap off of the physical cable in the back of this and copy those. So Wiegand technology is copyable using something called a vampire tap. Basically, if you can tap into the cable here, you can see the ones and zeros in exactly the position they're in. And you can actually take these ones and zeros and copy them and reproduce them. Now, this is a natural problem of Wiegand technology because it's just ones and zeros and there's no encryption data whatsoever. It's literally monitoring voltage. So by monitoring this voltage, I can copy any of those voltages, no matter how many bits of information there are, and then reproduce them. This is a security risk. And isn't the goal of our security system to be secure? So this is one of the reasons why we suggest RS-45 or OSDP. OSDP still uses ones and zeros, but in a very different way. It's a physical language, as in a language of computers. Computers do communicate in binary, ones and zeros. The difference is, when you're talking RS-485 OSDP language, it's ones and zeros are a physical computer language, and they encrypt the bits of information, so they move them into different places. So even if I could pull off the ones and zeros in sequence, like I do with Wiegand, without the decryption key to be able to reposition them in the right order, I don't know what I'm reading and I can't reproduce it. And even if I did reproduce it, it wouldn't matter because the bits are not in the appropriate location. So this is one of the reasons why we always suggest if you're doing a new install, you should be using RS-45 or OSDP because it's a much better technology, a much more secure technology. However, sometimes you're going to come into an application where it already has an access control system that they're trying to upgrade. If that's the case, well, maybe doing Wiegand technology is going to save the customer a little bit of money and might be the better solution for that specific customer. Whether you're doing Wiegand or OSDP, when it comes to ICT's products, we don't care because our TSEC readers are multi-format. So by multi-format, I mean all of the TSEC readers can do both Wiegand and OSDP, so you don't have to choose one or the other. Every reader does it. Furthermore, the cool thing about our readers is they're also multi-format uh, from a card perspective. So that's a totally different topic, but the security between the card and the reader also really matters, not just between the reader and the controller. Luckily, our readers do both formats from the, uh, the reader to the controller and do also all the formats from whatever credential you have back to the reader as well, whether it's standard 125 kilohertz or MyFair or Desfi or even Bluetooth. So if you have any questions or comments and you want to know for more information, leave your information or your comments in the section below. We're happy to reach out to you or go to www.inaxis.com. Cheers.